Today on Tanaka Homestead, I'm going to show you just how predator proof the extension I made for my igloo is. Let me paint the scenario for you. So yesterday while I'm in the kitchen, I noticed my dog Rose is walking in this direction. I'm thinking to myself, okay, she looks kind of tired. I don't know why she's over there. And she looks a little defeated and I kind of just laughed it off. Then I glance over to the igloo and I notice all my chickens are at the end of the run. And I was like, are they scared? Like, that's kind of odd. They're usually out and about. That doesn't make a lot of sense. So I didn't give it much thought, went to the store, came home. My oldest daughter went out to get the eggs and she came back in freaking out. So I rush out to the coop. I look, okay, and this is what I see. So look at this, this poor little fence. It was clearly knocked over. I mean, you can see it here. So here's my 65 pound German Malinois, Rose. Yeah, you know I'm talking to you. I'm impressed that she didn't just destroy uh, the chicken run I made, which tells me that it's pretty durable because I'm telling you, she is very strong. And I know some of you are thinking, why are you blaming your dog? Because I'm pretty sure she's guilty. This is two for two now. Rose, did you try to get into the chicken run? Rose, did you try to get into the chicken run? So she was on a farm previously and kind of got in trouble for chasing around the sheep. So I know that she's a tough one. She's super sweet, but um, yeah. The fact that that chicken run was durable enough to not get broken and tore up by her, I'm pretty impressed. So in her mind, she probably thought from this angle, there's no way I'm getting to them. And that's when I was in the kitchen and I looked out and I saw her walking away defeated. I'm pretty sure she ate the chicken eggs that were left on the patio. Of course, I didn't see her. And now this. But the point I'm trying to make is, it's not like she busted on in there. So I went ahead and repaired it. I don't know if you can see that. I accidentally broke the stake in the process, which is what took so long. And I gotta tell you, it's not easy to put a new stake in when the wire's upright. It's way easier if it's laying down flat, but if I do that, then I'm not gonna have um, a way to let the girls out today. Here, girls. Ugh. They love coming out here. Hey, girls. Come on. There we go. There we go. So I'm happy with the durability of this. I mean, you know, you think of a hawk, and I guess there were some falcons out here yesterday, and initially that's what my husband and my daughter were thinking, but... I mean, based on what I saw and I just the damage, there's no rips up top. You know, if they were to come in and try to grab, I would imagine there'd be some damage to the top netting and there wasn't. So I'm pretty convinced it was my dog. And I've had no issues with this extension since I put it up and it's been up a while. And I've seen hawks out here and everything and not once has that ever happened. So I'm sorry, I, I definitely think uh, my Malinois is uh, guilty. Rose, I have some serious questions for you. Again, did you try to eat the chickens, Rose? Well, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching our channel. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and especially that notification bell. Happy chicken raising. Bye.
are as happy as they can be out here. I tell you. There's the egg group.